could buy like a pot and you could plant and a jug for that. <laughs> Only if I bargained effectively. <laughs> <laughs> Came a hero drawing near to our land of fair Shapir. They caught a cold and carried that one here. I shall tell an allegory about a quest for love and glory, which I shall relate if you will lend an ear. The hero first faced fire, which was making matters dire, for the flames he fought were flitting ever higher. With water first he fought it, and into a lamp he caught it, ere our city of Shapir became our pyre. Oh, I can't remember that. The next he faced was air, which I'm sure that you're aware, was blustering and blowing here and there, before the winds became our bane as a fearsome hurricane. With a bellows then, he caught it fair and square. I must have forgotten that one. So let us raise a cheer for the hero of Shapir, and remember that our praise is quite sincere, for in the quest for glory as related by this story is a hero who has saved us from our fear. It's a hero who's a hero without a peer. That's very nice. Um, I think I would like food as well. Shima will be with you shortly with one of her splendid meals. It's a pretty neat a forest of food, grapes and saffron rice and honey rabbit. And this is a specialty of Shapira. Hello, Shima. How are you doing? It is a pleasure to see you, great hero. As usual. Thanks for the food. You are, of course, most welcome, my hero. Eh, uh, bye now. Farewell, hero of Thula. Our mother taught us that wonderful meal, da da da. Struggle even to make it to bed. Let's see. Anything interesting to talk to the poet about. Hello, poet. Many forget the polite thing to do. Greetings too often are given by few. I accept and confide in your gesture with pride. The same I extend now to you. Poet Omar is honored by your greeting and wishes you the same in return. Thanks for the money. You are most welcome, hero who came here. May you always be so welcome each appear. Such a thing was done with great pleasure, hero, and needs no mention. So, about this news. News abounds in the city and land of such. Shall I speak? May you learn what you can. No, it would be happy to discuss such matters with you. Thank you, Bowie. Uh, fire elementals. Fire elemental, living flame. Destruction unleashed, wild and never tame. Causing all that touches then to burn, leaving only ashes in return. Fire elementals created by a spell cast by a user of magic. Once created, it burns and destroys, uncontrolled by any master. The wind which turns and twists with speeding force, it wrecks and ruins all without remorse. The dust of devil's vortex and of despair, a living elemental formed bare. The elemental there, by the sheer power of wind, is capable of vast destruction. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> what is it is? Oh, this caravan. To journey far across this mighty land, to face the deadly driving dusts of sand, the shining sun which sears the naked hand, and to survive, it must be caravaned. A caravan is the best way to travel across here. I think that's enough. Have completely clear if the desert is actually also called Shapir? Or? Yeah, the, basically the entire land is called Shapir and the city is also called Shapir, which means Razir is in Shapir. <laughs> <laughs> While also being its twin city. It's all very confusing. Good night. The words of departure are what I do here. Farewell till the next time you lend me your ear. Farewell, hero. Now... you my dialogue, hero. Sorry. <laughs> now, I actually am gonna head out and say hi to the money changer because... I feel distinctly like I'm not thiefy enough. I don't think that she's got a mission for me yet, but I just want to make sure. Happy to see me. Well, this not just the money in your pocket. No oh, comment. Hi there. It's always a pleasure. I wish I could see more of you. I get it. So, about news. 
I'm just gonna leave it here with you and make sure that's so what I can. Any chance of a job? Work is a little hard to come by in Shukumi. After what you have already done here, you should lay low if you'll pardon the expression. You know anything about this uh, caravan business? There's a caravan traveling through here nearly every month, I believe. Seems distinctly disinterested. Ah. All right, well, bye. Amen. Always coming and going. Always going and coming and always too soon. Has it occurred to you that you might be the common factor in that, Dinar's head? Uh, never mind. Right, well, that was all very fun, busy day, busy day, a lot of hard work. I'm gonna go to bed. Exhausted. Totally exhausted. Yeah. It's tiring sleeping all day. Meditate, please. I gotta get my strength back up. You know, I've spent a lot of nights out in the desert. I hear your old friend of the Kata that Shapir again needs your aid. There is talk of an elemental of Earth that's destroying the city. A what now? Oh man. Luckily he just sort of drops it out there and then he won't actually have any information about it for you. <laughs> oh, by the way, there might be an elemental destroying the city. <laughs> well, yeah. I gotta have breakfast before I can deal with that. It's a regular occurrence here. Need We're not. not too worried. Good day, your Spielberg. I hope you slept well. But he's a little more perturbed about it than she is. <laughs> Hi, Shima. It was a pleasure to see you, dear hero. Thanks for breakfast. You are still most welcome, my hero. Mm -mm. And bye. Farewell, hero of Spielberg. Thanks for walking. Can I mind to the fact that the city is being torn apart by the next level mental? She doesn't like to distress people before breakfast. It's very rude. Back to their digest, don't you? Yeah. Well, so, an earth elemental, oh dear. Well, okay, so first there's someone who knows something about elementals. Knock, knock. Welcome, Gong. Come in, sit down, and we shall speak. Hello, Aziza. How are you? If I can ever get my mouse to cooperate. Welcome. It's good to have a visitor who understands the proper way to enter conversation. If you are not polite to Dinarzad, horrible things happen, so... Aziza. Aziza. Dinarzad right. is the other. Dinarzad you can be all kinds of rude to. But Aziza, you don't... And I don't know why I got the names mixed up, because yeah. they're really different characters. Do not call me Dinarzad. Can I share tea? I refuse to assist I think it. I think it's probably because of the common voice. Um. Yeah, of course I like tea. Lots of tea. Uh, you know, never mind about elementals destroying the city. Now that you have, we have shared tea, what is it for which you have come? Uh, so there's kind of... An elemental destroying the city! News. Very well. What would you like to discuss? There's kind of a... Earth elemental! Perhaps it would be well to show you as well as to tell you about the and then the table is suddenly empty. The essence of Earth is strength. Strength. It must be worn away before it can be captured, and it is only vulnerable to flame. It might be best contained in the type of cloth sack used to hold sand in this city. Tell me about the caravan. The caravan is currently the only way most people can travel to Rivier or the lands beyond. Well, what is beyond Rivier? Thanks. You are most welcome. Bye. It has been a pleasure conversing with you. Perhaps we shall share tea again sometime. Well, all right, so fire. So I know somebody who knows about fire. 
No, I'm still walking. I want to be running. No hurry. It's just an elementalist green city. <laughs> Yeah, nothing to really worry about. Hi. Ah, to be pushed the elemental of air as well as a fire. Perhaps you now need to know something about the elemental of earth. <laughs> Why, yes, I do. <laughs> Let me yeah, tell you about right. this earth elemental. <laughs> it's just hello. With, oh dear, fiery emotion, you explain to Harik that the Earth Elemental is attacking the city. Maybe you could use some magic fire to burn magic earth? I do have some powder of burning that might work, but it is very rare. It makes such pretty flames. I'd hate to have it wasted. With fire emotion, you explain to Harith that the Earth Elemental is attacking the city. At first, he seems unconvinced, but your eloquence finally sways him. I have a substance called powder of burning that might be of some use against the Earth Elemental. Since you put it that way, I guess I will just have to give the power to you. Be very careful with it. You need to remember to be as far from the target as you can, or you might be damaged by the reaction. It will probably take most of the powder I can give you to defeat such a thing as an earth elemental. Do not waste it, and please do not miss when you throw it. Please tell me what happens when you use it. I'm sorry I can't be there, but I have so much work to do. You're just sticking all the... Basically, I now have it. And you can throw it. I suppose I could, like, say goodbye. That might be throw it the same way you throw a dagger. Oh, leaving are you? Farewell then. Be sure to return if you need any of my pills. Well, that's quite nice. Now, wonder where this elemental is. I guess I'll just sort of run around aimlessly in the streets. You might want to save now. I might have that. Considering that elementals might be a little bit hazardous to your health at times. The basic rule with this elemental is that you go until you run into it in a corner somewhere. And then... So I'm just gonna let it get close. <laughs> I'm supposed to wait until I'm in battle and hit Q. Difference. You used to in the original version. It's the only time I've ever played this game. By the by, it's called Rocky. Mm -hmm. Ow. Yeah. And it ran. No fair. It does that. What's the earth elemental? <clears throat> Can't you see that it's at the start of a pretty big downer? Hi, earth elemental. Okay, so this time, we'll try that slightly differently. Back away first. You made the Earth Elemental hit the dirt. Yeah, yeah, unless you put some daggers. Guess you were fighting a little dirty there. Ooh. Well, I happen to have a cloth bag. Time to put the bag on it. You scoop the Elemental Earth into the bag. Yay.